Pochita. Possibly this year's number one most loved character across all of anime. And ever since the moment that Pochita was introduced in Chainsaw Man's manga, it's pretty much been that way. How could you not love a little orange dog with a chainsaw coming out of its forehead? I love Pachita so much, I ordered a life-size statue of him that will eventually be behind me, but it was pre-sale, so it's gonna be a while. But just because we as a community of weebs adore Pachita, it doesn't mean we don't have questions about Pachita. See, for anybody with a pulse in the anime community, you'll know that Pachita is not only adorable, but also the chainsaw devil. That's why the manga is called Chainsaw Man. But for those of you watching or reading Chainsaw Man, you'll understand that in Chainsaw Man, a devil gets its power from the amount of fear garnered towards what it's named after. The fear of death is what makes the death devil so strong. The fear of war is what makes the war devil so strong. Which leaves a lot of very logical people with the question, why is the chainsaw devil so strong? I'm not afraid of chainsaws, are you? Well, I guess I'm afraid of chainsaws if like somebody's wielding one at me, but I'm afraid of anything if somebody's wielding it at me. So if there's no general sense of fear towards chainsaws, how is Pachita as strong as Pachita really is? If anything, Pachita being that strong kind of defies everything we know about Chainsaw Man's power system as a whole. So what if I told you the real reason that Pachita is as powerful as it is isn't because it is the Chainsaw Devil, it's because it isn't. What if I told you that the reason that Pachita is quite possibly the strongest devil in the entire universe is because, much like the Darkness Devil, it's a primal devil. Now I know this sounds like a stretch, chainsaws were created in 1830, how on earth could Pachita be a primal devil? I'll explain all of this in more in a second, but first guys, for me. Like this video, subscribe to the page, and hit that noti bell. So chainsaws, what do we know about them? They're used to cut down trees, they're used to process meat, and sometimes people with less than 10 fingers use them to carve names into pencils. That is a very niche backwoods reference, and if you get it, congratulations, you're probably from where I'm from. And while I absolutely do not want a chainsaw ripping into my flesh at any point in this existence, I would argue that I, and the rest of humanity as a whole, is significantly more afraid of things like death and war and guns than we are of chainsaws. I argue humanity is more scared of sharks and cars than chainsaws. And yet in the Chainsaw Man manga, for some reason, the chainsaw devil is arguably the strongest devil. And this is without Denji. Even without being a hybrid, Pochita has been one of the strongest devils in existence for forever. Long before Pochita became Denji's heart, it was running amok in hell. As we know, in 1984, by the way, the anime and manga take place in 1997, the Chainsaw Devil came into combat against the Four Horsemen and the Weapons Devils. Now, the Four Horsemen are control, war, hunger, and death. They symbolize humanity's four greatest fears. The fear of starving to death, the fear of being controlled, the fear of war, and the fear of death. Death. Now, these four horsemen are arguably as close to a primal devil as you can possibly be, as things like fear of starvation and hunger and control and death have been around as long as humans have. In fact, it would be relatively easy to make the argument that these four could be considered primal devils even though they are not. I would argue that hunger and death should be on there, maybe not control and war though, because I don't really think cave ape men were worried about control systems or geopolitics. But still, these are four fears that humanity have held on to for thousands of years. Therefore, arguably, these are the four strongest devils in existence outside of the only primal devil we're aware of, the Darkness Devil. And yet the Chainsaw Devil was able to meet these four horsemen and the Weapons Devils, which include the Arrow Devil, the Bomb Devil, and the Gun Devil in a battle in hell. And while the Chainsaw Devil did not win, during this battle it was able to take a bite out of the War Devil and significantly reduce the power of the War Devil, meaning that in a 7 on 1, the Chainsaw Devil was able to relatively hold his own to the point where he was able to pretty much permanently cripple one of the strongest devils of all time. But that makes next to no sense. How is a devil named after something invented in the 1830s that's used as a tool more powerful than a bomb devil or an arrow devil or a gun devil? In fact, after this battle, it's theorized that the gun devil was so detrimentally damaged that when he went from hell to earth to look for the chainsaw devil, because important piece of information here, halfway between the fight between the chainsaw devil and these seven other devils, 
The Chainsaw Devil turned into a significantly weaker near-death state, which was Pochita's form. Because the Chainsaw Devil's form changed, he was able to escape from hell back to Earth. And the Four Horsemen and the Three Weapons Devils followed the Chainsaw Devil to Earth. Back to my original point, it's widely theorized that the Gun Devil, upon chasing the Chainsaw Devil to Earth, was so injured that during its rampage that went through India and China and Japan and the Soviet Union, that when the Gun Devil got to the Soviet Union, it collapsed because the injuries sustained during its battle against the Chainsaw Devil made it so weak it couldn't continue. This makes even less sense when we consider the fact that we've seen the Control Devil go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Darkness Devil, a devil so strong it's never gone to Earth because nothing in Hell can kill it. For those of you who don't know, devils in Hell, if they die in Hell, are sent to Earth. Devils who die on Earth are sent back to Hell. It's a circle. So if the Control Devil was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Darkness Devil, that would imply that the Chainsaw Devil, which was able to go against the control devil in six other simultaneously is somehow stronger than the darkness devil. And the reason the darkness devil is referred to as a primal devil is because humans have a primal fear of the dark. So what if once again, Pochita is not the chainsaw devil? What if Pochita or the chainsaw devil is actually a primal devil? That would explain how the chainsaw devil was able to fight against the four horsemen and the three weapons devils simultaneously. But if Pochita truly is a primal devil, what kind of devil is he and what's with the chainsaws? Well, let's answer the easier question first. What's with the chainsaws? Well, there's a couple of possible explanations as to why Pochita would have chainsaws even if he wasn't the chainsaw devil. And there's even a couple of advantages that would come along with Pochita having these chainsaws and being able to masquerade as the chainsaw devil. See, as far as we understand it, devils are able to get stronger by consuming either other devils or humans. Essentially, as long as there's blood going in, devils are getting stronger. But it's been shown that if a devil consumes part of another, and this is important, living devil, they can gain the abilities of that devil. So if hypothetically, I'm the tomato devil and a car devil comes along and eats part of me, but I survive, that car devil could now have tomato powers. Unfortunately, however, if I'm the tomato devil and I'm dead and the car devil eats my entire body, the car devil will not get my tomato powers. But this is big. This implies that so long as the devil eats another devil and lets that other devil live, they would be able to use the abilities of that devil, which means that it's incredibly possible that Pochita at one point ate part of an actual chainsaw devil. And upon eating part of the actual chainsaw devil and leaving that actual chainsaw devil alive, Pochita was then able to manifest chainsaws. And if we're considering the fact that in this circumstance, Pochita is a primal devil, capturing the chainsaw devil, holding it still, and taking a non-fatal bite out of it would not be an issue. Because while the chainsaw devil wouldn't be that strong, it would be stronger than something like the tomato devil. So it probably would be able to survive a bite from a primal devil as long as that bite was a small one. Now, some people theorize that Pochita might have made a contract with the chainsaw devil to use the chainsaws in exchange for blood, because Denji runs out of blood really quick every time he pulls out the chainsaws, but canonically the only way we've ever seen a contract be made is between a human and a devil. So while there's technically no confirmation a devil and a devil can't make a contract, it's heavily implied it doesn't happen. Okay, but why would a primal devil want to masquerade as the chainsaw devil? But Cheetah's just not that evil. See, the darkness devil, the only other primal devil we're aware of, is kind of a non-sentient being of malice. It has no personality, it simply exists within hell and attacks anything it perceives as a threat. It lives up to the name of devil. But Cheetah might have just not wanted to live that existence, and thus by masquerading as a significantly weaker devil, Pochita would be able to live a relatively normal normal devil's life. It's also a possibility that Pochita as a primal devil was often targeted by powerful devils because like we stated earlier, if a devil happens to take a bite out of a living devil, they'll get its abilities. And since devils are technically immortal with devils in hell just reincarnating on earth after they die, genuinely what would stop these devils from taking a shot at Pochita? And thus by turning from this primal devil into a chainsaw devil, Pochita would be able to get a lot of heat off its back. Or the third and most likely reason is that Pochita kind of wants to go undercover. See, Pochita has an incredible interesting ability. One that goes far beyond extending chainsaws from its arms. And there's gonna be some light Chainsaw Man manga spoilers in here, nothing that'll ruin the show for you by any means. I'm just gonna talk about one of Pochita's abilities that you probably don't know of as an anime-only watcher right now. So if you don't want that, well, I'll see you on the next one. So Pochita, outside of being able to use chainsaws to slice up devils and humans alike, has an ability called Devil Erasure. This ability means that any devil eaten by Pochita disappears. Now, now, in the usual circumstance, if one devil eats another devil, that devil would either just go back to hell or go to earth. However, in the circumstance of Pochita, if Pochita eats you, you're 
gone. You don't reincarnate to Earth, you don't get sent back to Hell, the reincarnation cycle ends. And not only does the reincarnation cycle end, whatever you are named after, disappears. This is because when Pochita eats a devil, it eliminates the fear of the object that that devil is named after in its entirety. And obviously, if the object that devil was named after remained, fear would be garnered towards that object once again, and the devil would be reborn. So within the confines of the Chainsaw Man manga, Pochita has eaten the AIDS devil, the Nazis devil, the nuclear weapons devil, meaning that those three things and a bunch of other devils that Pochita has eaten no longer exist. The second Pochita consumed the nuclear weapons devil, nukes disappeared, and there's only four beings that remember the things that Pochita has eaten, and those are the Four Horsemen. The Four Horsemen are considered the Four Horsemen because they can remember the devils erased by Pochita. But why would the Chainsaw Devil have an ability like Devil Erasure? What does that have to do with chainsaws? The Arrow Devil can shoot arrows, the Gun Devil can shoot bullets, the Control Devil controls people. Why would the Chainsaw Devil be able to consume devils? Well, that's because chainsaws are a secondary ability, while Devil Erasure is a primary ability. See, even if hypothetically Pochita didn't eat part of a chainsaw devil at one point to manifest chainsaws as an ability, we've seen the abilities of devils be pretty abstract to what they're named after. Well, obviously the gun devil shoots bullets, the arrow devil shoots arrows, and so on and so forth. That's because the arrow devil and the gun devil aren't named after concepts, they're named after things. However, devils like the Darkness Devil have more abstract abilities, like the Darkness Devil being able to manifest and shoot swords. Now, why would the Darkness Devil have a sword ability? Shouldn't the Darkness Devil only be able to control darkness? Well, it's about association. Think about it. People are afraid of the dark for a myriad of different reasons. That's why it's a primal fear. When we were cavemen, we were afraid of the dark because that's where wild animals lurked. As we grew into humans, we were afraid of the dark because that's when ambushes came. So extending from that, it would make sense that the darkness devil would be able to manifest things like a sword or even possibly a gun. As fear of the darkness is innately tied into the things that kill you, in the darkness. So even if you don't think that Pachita took a bite out of a chainsaw devil and kept it alive so he could use chainsaws as a cover-up for him being a primal devil, there's a possibility that the real type of devil that Pochita is has a tie-in to chainsaws. So let's get to our last question. Outside of being a primal devil, what type of devil is Pochita? People have a couple of different theories on this. Some people say that Pochita is the panic or the chaos devil, a representation of humanity losing its composure. And as humans have lost our composure for as long as we've had composure, and that's as long as we've had sentience, this would definitely be primal adjacent. On top of the fact that many people are afraid of panic and chaos. Things like anxiety, panic attacks, getting trampled in a crowd, the chaos of anarchy, and in a world dominated by devils, panic and chaos are absolutely powerful entities. People extrapolate that chainsaws are a perfect extension of chaos and or panic, as chainsaws themselves are loud and violent and don't cut cleanly. Chainsaws rip and tear and mangle a corpse. Blood and sinew get stuck in the gears. But I don't believe in that theory. I actually think it's probably the worst out of the ones we're gonna talk about today. The second theory I like a lot more than the panic and chaos theory, but not as much as my favorite one. The second theory theorizes that Pochita represents the fear of being forgotten. That is to say, Pochita is the fear Fear of being forgotten devil, which is a bit wordy. This theory relies more heavily on the devil erasure power and has the added bonus of instilling fear in both devils and humans. See, as sentient beings, the majority of us want to be remembered for something. We write our names on the front of the books we create. We put our names in the credits of the movies we create. We want statues. We want our names in the newspapers. We want recognition. There's even sayings like a man dies twice when he dies and the last time his name is muttered. Humans crave to leave an impact on this earth, to be remembered. It's the biological driver behind us having children. We procreate so our mark on this earth can be remembered through our generations of children. So one could absolutely make the argument that the biological drive to reproduce is driven by the fear of being forgotten. And thus for as long as humans or any organism has had the drive to reproduce, the fear of being forgotten has been driven with more and more power. And as the wanton drive to reproduce is biological and that's psychological, for as long as sentient beings have existed, the fear of being forgotten has existed, making the fear of being forgotten as primal as being afraid of the dark, if not more. Anytime a baby of anything is is created, it feeds into the fear cycle of losing your lineage. And that's just on the human side. See, it's never explicitly stated that fear from devils doesn't power up other devils. And what's the one thing that a devil who's technically immortal would be afraid of? Probably death. The only thing in the Chainsaw Man universe that can kill a devil 
is Pochita. Thus, Pochita would not only be technically the most primal fear of humans, losing our biological lineage, Pochita would also be garnering fear from devils who were afraid that Pochita would also technically end their lineage of reincarnation. If we extrapolate the fear of being forgotten to be a rather abstract thing, it would make sense how this could make the strongest devil in existence. Fear from technically every single being in the universe would make quite the strong devil. And while I do quite like that theory, my favorite theory about what primal fear Pochita represents is a bit different. See, we've already talked about the Darkness Devil and how the Darkness Devil is able to use abilities we wouldn't traditionally associate with darkness because that's where the fear came from, the swords and the guns in the darkness. Take that extrapolation one step further, I would reckon that Pochita is the consumption devil, a devil representing the human fear of being eaten. I know what you're saying, you're saying, Nick, that's dumb. I'm not afraid of being eaten. That never happens. Unless it's Minnesota in the 80s. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Think about the fear of being eaten. Think about how long that stuck with humanity. While you're sitting there in your air-conditioned room in a house with a door that can lock, of course you're not gonna be afraid of being eaten. Now drop yourself in the middle of the jungle, 100 miles from the closest civilization. I bet you would be a little bit more afraid of being eaten. Even to this day, when you take a swim in the ocean, are you not afraid that there might be a shark in there? When you were a kid, did you not occasionally have the irrational fear that there might for some reason be a shark in your pool? We as humans have effectively worked our way out of the food chain, and that is absolutely a blessing. But even as we have completely worked ourselves out of the food chain, there is still times where you've probably been afraid of being eaten. And you wanna know why you were afraid of being eaten? Thousands of years of caveman biology imprinting in your brain. Humans have been around for tens of thousands of years, at least in some iteration. And civilization is relatively new. Sumer was founded about 10,000 years ago. Prior to that, we were nomadic. We lived in small tribes or in caves. We had sticks and daggers made out of stones. Evolutionarily, yes, we could walk and run longer than any other being in existence. Existence, but when it came down to a 1v1, we were losing in the majority of those battles. This is why humans are inherently pack animals. We're stronger when we're together. More specifically, we're stronger than the things that are stronger than us. For tens of thousands of years, when darkness came around, the number one thing people were afraid of was being eaten. You had to kill and eat before you were killed and eaten. It is the most simple biological driver known to man. It's eat or get eaten. Now extend this real world analogy into the world of Chainsaw Man. Sure, in the day to day for you and me, we may not worry about being eaten. The fear may occasionally pop into our head when we pop into the ocean or we get dropped in the jungle, of course. But think about it in the Chainsaw Man universe. 70% of deaths are tied to devils. 70%. And while some devils like the gun devils just blow millions of people away with giant guns, the vast, and I mean vast majority of devils consume humans. This is because devils get stronger by consuming human blood in meat. So in a world where 70% of deaths are tied to basically being eaten, you could imagine where fear around being eaten could be garnered. In fact, I could imagine that in that world, people would be more afraid of being eaten than the darkness. Because even just within the first 10 episodes of Chainsaw Man, the majority of devil activity has happened during the day. Devils aren't stronger at night. They aren't more active at night. The fear of being eaten is a 24 hour cycle. And it's a cycle that's beating humans down because within the confines of the Chainsaw Man universe, humans are not out of the food cycle. Devils are out of the food cycle, but not humans. And thus staying alive means not being eaten. But when your entire purpose is don't be eaten, you're gonna be afraid of being eaten. On top of that, just like with the fear of being forgotten devil, this plays to both sides because devils would also be afraid of being eaten, specifically by Pochita, but also really by any devil. Because like we touched on earlier, if a devil is partially eaten by another devil, that other devil gets their ability, which means that that other devil not only has your ability, but it's also become stronger from eating part of you. On top of that, weaker devils are often eaten by stronger devils because stronger devils can get even stronger by eating both devils and humans. And the blood of both humans and devils helps rejuvenate devils. So in reality, when I said that devils have worked their way out of the food cycle, I was kind of lying. Strong devils have worked their way out of the food cycle but weak devils like the tomato devil or the sea cucumber devil have not. And since hell is only inhabited by devils, every time these weaker devils return to hell after dying on earth, they're probably eaten relatively quickly. Not to mention even strong devils are afraid of being eaten specifically by Pochita. Because if these stronger devils are consumed by Pochita, they will disappear 
forever. And since chainsaws and buzz saws are often used to do things like process meat, the chainsaw ability could quite possibly play into Pochita being a consumption devil. That's why I think that the best possible explanation for Pochita being as strong as it is, is because it's the consumption devil. In a world that revolves entirely around eating each other, I could imagine that fear of being eaten is probably the strongest fear. But what do you guys think? Why do you think Pochita is as strong as it is? Tell me in the comments below. And while you're down there, please, for me, like this video, subscribe to the page, and hit that noti bell. Listen, humans are only born with two fears, loud noises and heights. So I don't know why we haven't seen the loud noises or height devil.